The Book of Joshua, Chapter 11 And it came to pass, when Jabin, king of Hazor, heard these things, that he sent to Jobab, king of Madon, to the king of Shimron, to the king of Akshaph, and to the kings who were from the north, in the mountains, in the plain south of Shinnereth, in the lowland, and the heights of Dor on the west, to the Canaanites in the east and at the west, the Amorite, the Hittite, the Perizzite, the Jebusite in the mountains, and the Hivite below Hermon in the land of Mizpah. So they went out, they and all their armies with them, as many people as the sand that is on the seashore in multitude, with very many horses and chariots. And when all these kings had met together, they came and camped together at the waters of Meram to fight against Israel. But the Lord said to Joshua, Do not be afraid because of them, for tomorrow about this time I will deliver all of them slain before Israel. You shall hamstring their horses and burn their chariots with fire. So Joshua and all the people of war with him came against them suddenly by the waters of Meram, and they attacked them. And the Lord delivered them into the hand of Israel, who defeated them, and chased them to greater Sidon, to the brook Misraphath, to the valley of Mizpah, eastward. They attacked them until they left none of them remaining. So Joshua did to them as the Lord had told him. He hamstrung their horses and burned their chariots with fire. Joshua turned back at that time and took Hazor, and struck its king with a sword for Hazor was formerly the head of all those kingdoms. And they struck all the people who were in it with the edge of the sword, utterly destroying them. There was none left breathing. Then he burned Hazor with fire. So all the cities of those kings, and all their kings, Joshua took and struck with the edge of the sword. He utterly destroyed them, as Moses the servant of the Lord had commanded. But as for the cities that stood on their bounds, Israel burned none of them, except Hazor only, which Joshua burned. And all the spoil of these cities, and the livestock, the children of Israel took as booty for themselves. But they struck every man with the edge of the sword until they had destroyed them, and they left none breathing. As the Lord had commanded Moses his servant, so Moses commanded Joshua, and so Joshua did. He left nothing undone of all the Lord had commanded Moses. Thus Joshua took all this land, the mountain country, all the south, all the land of Goshen, the lowland, and the Jordan plain, the mountains of Israel, and its lowlands, from Mount Halak and the descent of Seir, even as far as Baal Gad in the valley of Lebanon below Mount Hermon. He captured all their kings and struck them down and killed them. Joshua made war a long time with all those kings. There was not a city that made peace with the children of Israel, except the Hivites, the inhabitants of Gibeon. All the others they took in battle. For it was of the Lord to harden their hearts, that they should come against Israel in battle, that he might utterly destroy them, and that they might receive no mercy, but that he might destroy them, as the Lord had commanded Moses. And at that time, Joshua came and cut off Anakim from the mountains, from Hebron, from Debir, from Anab, from all the mountains of Judah, and from all the mountains of Israel. Joshua utterly destroyed them with their cities. None of the Anakim were left in the land of the children of Israel. They remained only in Gaza, in Gath, and in Ashdod. So Joshua took the whole land according to all that the Lord had said to Moses, And Joshua gave it as an inheritance to Israel, according to their divisions by their tribes. Then the land rested from war. The Book of Joshua, Chapter 12 These are the kings of the land whom the children of Israel defeated, and whose land they possessed on the other side of the Jordan toward the rising of the sun, from the river Arnon to Mount Hermon, and all the eastern Jordan plain. One king was Sihon, king of the Amorites, who dwelt in Heshbon, and ruled half of Gilead, from Eror, which is on the bank of the river Arnon, from the middle of that river, even as far as the river Jabbok, which is the border of the Ammonites. And the eastern Jordan plain from the Sea of Chinnereth, as far as the Sea of Arabah, the Salt Sea, the road to Beth-Jeshemoth, and southward below the slopes of Pisgah. 
The other king was Og, king of Bashan, and his territory, who was of the remnant of the giants, who dwelt at Ashtaroth in Edrei, and reigned over Mount Hermon, over Salka, over all Bashan, as far as the border of the Geshurites and the Maacathites, and over half of Gilead to the border of Sihon, king of Heshbon. These Moses the servant of the Lord and the children of Israel had conquered, and Moses the servant of the Lord had given it as a possession to the Reubenites, the Gadites, and half the tribe of Manasseh. And these are the kings of the country which Joshua and the children of Israel conquered on this side of the Jordan, on the west side from Baal Gad in the valley of Lebanon, as far as Mount Halak and the ascent of Seir, which Joshua gave to the tribes of Israel as a possession according to their divisions. In the mountain country, in the lowlands, in the Jordan plain, in the slopes, in the wilderness, and in the south, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. The king of Jericho, one. The king of Ai, which is beside Bethel, one. The king of Jerusalem, one. The king of Hebron, one. The king of Jarmuth, one. The king of Lachish, one. The king of Eglon, one. The king of Gezer, one. The king of Debir, one. The king of Gader, one. The king of Hormah, one. The king of Arad, one. The king of Libna, one. The king of Adullam, one. The king of Makeda, one. The king of Bethel, one. The king of Tapua, one. The king of Hefer, one. The king of Aphek, one. The king of Lasharon, one. The king of Madden, one. The king of Hazor, one. The king of Shimron, Moran, one. The king of Akshaph, one. The king of Teanach, one. The king of Megiddo, one. The king of Kadesh, one. The king of Jokneam, in Carmel, one. The king of Dor, in the heights of Dor, one. The king of the people of Gilgal, one. The king of Terza, one. All the kings, thirty-one. The Book of Joshua, Chapter 13 Now Joshua was old, advanced in years. And the Lord said to him, You are old, advanced in years, and there remains very much land yet to be possessed. This is the land that yet remains. All the territory of the Philistines, and all that of the Geshurites, from Sihor, which is east of Egypt, as far as the border of Ekron, northward, which is counted as Canaanite, the five lords of the Philistines, the Gazites, the Ashdodites, the Ashkelonites, the Gittites, and the Ekronites, also the Avites, from the south, all the land of the Canaanites, and the Merah, that belongs to the Sidonians as far as Aphek, to the border of the Amorites, the land of the Gebelites, and all Lebanon toward the sunrise, from Baal Gad below Mount Hermon, as far as the entrance of Hamath, all the inhabitants of the mountains from Lebanon as far as the brook Mizraphath, and all the Sidonians, them I will drive out from before the children of Israel, only divide it by lot to Israel as an inheritance, as I have commanded you. Now, therefore, divide this land as an inheritance to the nine tribes and half the tribe of Manasseh. With the other half-tribe, the Reubenites and the Gadites received their inheritance, which Moses had given them, beyond the Jordan eastward, as Moses the servant of the Lord had given them. From Eror, which is on the bank of the river Arnon, and the town that is in the midst of the ravine, and all the plain of Medeba as far as Neban, all the cities of Sihon, king of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon, as far as the border of the children of Ammon. Gilead, and the border of the Geshurites and the Meacathites, all Mount Hermon, and all Bashan as far as Selka, all the kingdom of Og and Bashan, who reigned in Ashtaroth in Edrei, who remained of the remnant of the giants, for Moses had defeated and cast out these. Nevertheless, the children of Israel did not drive out the Geshurites or the Meacathites, but the Geshurites and the Meacathites dwell among the Israelites until this day. 
Only to the tribe of Levi he had given no inheritance. The sacrifices of the Lord God of Israel made by fire are their inheritance, as he said to them. And Moses had given to the tribe of the children of Reuben an inheritance according to their families. Their territory was from Eror, which is on the bank of the river Arnon, and the city that is in the midst of the ravine, and all the plain by Medeba, Heshbon, and all its cities that are in the plain, Diban, Bamoth Baal, Beth Baal, Mion, Jehaza, Kedemoth, and Mephaath, Kirajathim, Sibma, Zareth, Shahar, on the mountain of the valley, Beth Peor, the slopes of Pisgah, and Beth Jeshima, all the cities of the plain, and all the kingdom of Sihon, king of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon, whom Moses had struck with the princes of Midian, Evi, Rechem, Zer, Hur, and Reba, who were princes of Sihon dwelling in the country. The children of Israel also killed with the sword Balaam the son of Beor, the soothsayer among those who were killed by them. And the border of the children of Reuben was the bank of the Jordan. This was the inheritance of the children of Reuben according to their families, the cities, and their villages. Moses also had given an inheritance to the tribe of Gad, to the children of Gad according to their families. Their territory was Jazer and all the cities of Gilead, and half the land of the Amorites as far as Eror, which is before Rabbah and from Heshbon to Ramoth, Mizpah, and Betanim, and from Mahanaim to the border of Debir, and in the valley of Beth Haran, Beth Nimrah, Sukkoth, and Zaphon, the rest of the kingdom of Sihon, king of Heshbon, with the Jordan as its border, as far as the edge of the sea of Chinnereth, on the other side of the Jordan eastward. This is the inheritance of the children of Gad according to their families, the cities, and their villages. Moses also had given an inheritance to half the tribe of Manasseh. It was for half the tribe of the children of Manasseh according to their families. Their territory was from Mahanaim, all Bashan, all the kingdom of Og, king of Bashan, and all the towns of Jair, which are in Bashan, sixty cities half of Gilead, and Ashtaroth and Edrei, cities of the kingdom of Og and Bashan, were for the children of Maker, the son of Manasseh, for half of the children of Maker, according to their families. These are the areas which Moses had distributed as an inheritance in the plains of Moab on the other side of the Jordan by Jericho eastward. But to the tribe of Levi Moses had given no inheritance, the Lord God of Israel was their inheritance, as he had said to them. The Book of Joshua, Chapter 14 These are the areas which the children of Israel inherited in the land of Canaan, which Eleazar the priest, Joshua the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel distributed as an inheritance to them. Their inheritance was by lot, as the Lord had commanded by the hand of Moses, for the nine tribes and the half-tribe. For Moses had given the inheritance of the two tribes and the half-tribe on the other side of the Jordan, but to the Levite he had given no inheritance among them. For the children of Joseph were two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim, and they gave no part to the Levites in the land except cities to dwell in, with their common lands for their livestock and their property. As the Lord had commanded Moses, so the children of Israel did, and they divided the land. Then the children of Judah came to Joshua in Gilgal. And Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, said to him, You know the word which the Lord said to Moses, the man of God, concerning you and me in Kadesh Barnea. I was forty years old when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to spy out the land and I brought back word to him as it was in my heart. Nevertheless, my brethren who went up with me made the heart of the people melt. But I wholly followed the Lord my God. So Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land where your foot has trodden shall be your inheritance, and your children's forever, because you have wholly followed the Lord my God. And now, behold, the Lord has kept me alive, as he said these forty-five years, ever since the Lord spoke this word to Moses while Israel wandered in the wilderness, and now 
Here I am this day, eighty-five years old. As yet I am as strong this day as on the day that Moses sent me. Just as my strength was then, so now is my strength for war, both for going out and coming in. Now therefore, give me this mountain of which the Lord spoke in that day, for you heard in that day how the Anakim were there, and that the cities were great and fortified. It may be that the Lord will be with me, and I shall be able to drive them out as the Lord said. And Joshua blessed him, and gave Hebron to Caleb the son of Jephunneh as an inheritance. Hebron, therefore, became the inheritance of Caleb the son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite, to this day, because he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. And the name of Hebron formerly was Kirjath Arba. Arba was the greatest man among the Anakim. Then the land had rest from war, 